How's it going, folks? The Kylian Mbappe saga is looming large, and the decisive moment has come regarding Kane's move to Bayern Munich. By joining us, you will not miss any important news from the world of the number one game. So press the like and subscribe buttons, and let's get the show on the pitch. Frank Kessier has officially joined Al Ali. Barcelona will receive 15 million euros, and the Ivorian will earn 18 million per year. The contract will be for three years. Here we go. Former Real Madrid, Spain and Real Sociedad midfielder Asier Yaramendi has joined FC Dallas as a free agent. The Spaniard penned a three-year deal with the Hoops. Kaylor Navas is expected to leave PSG in the summer. He has an offer from Saudi Arabia, Turkey, as well as from one of the EPL clubs. He played the second half of last season for Nottingham Forest. Yoshko Guardiola is doing a medical test. Hopefully, we can finish the deal in the next few days. Pep Guardiola confirms. 19-year-old forward Alejo Vélez joins Tottenham Hotspur from CA Rosario Central. Spurs will pay 15 million euros plus bonuses for the youngster with a contract running for five years. AC Milan are exploring the possibility of acquiring Barcelona centre-back Clement Langley, who spent last season on loan at Tottenham Hotspur. Fiorentina have signed 20-year-old Rosario Central midfielder Gino Infantino for a transfer fee of 3.5 million euros. Brighton Hovell Bingle keeper Robert Sanchez has successfully undergone medical tests ahead of his £20 million plus £5 million move to Chelsea. Barcelona will not take a new player to replace Usman Dembele yet. Xavi will bet on Rafinha and Lamin Yamal. Xabi Alonso has extended his contract with Bayer Leverkusen until the summer of 2026. Last season, he steered the Black and Reds from the bottom of the table to sixth place and also brought them to the Europa League semi-finals. Former Eintracht Frankfurt attacking midfielder Daichi Kamada has joined Lazio on a free transfer, signing a four-year contract. Atalanta have offered West Ham United 30 million euros plus add-ons for Gianluca Scamacca. Inter will not be taking part in the auction. Mickey van de Ven moves from VfL Wolfsburg to Tottenham for 50 million euros. Here we go. The Dutchman has already undergone a medical. 20-year-old United States midfielder Yunus Moussa has switched from Valencia to AC Milan for 20 million euros. The contract is valid until the summer of 2028. Barcelona have agreed to sign 16-year-old SC Freiburg talent Noah Darvic. Bayern Munich were also interested in his services. Jan Sommer is now the new goalkeeper of Inter Milan. Here we go. The Swiss has joined Nerazzurri for 6 million euros. Today, he is about to complete his medical. Nottingham Forest are in pole position to secure the transfer of Arsenal goalkeeper Matt Turner. They could bring back Dean Henderson from Manchester United in the final weeks of August. Crystal Palace are working on a loan deal for 18-year-old Chelsea prospect Lewis Hull. No buyout option will be included in the deal. Chelsea are hoping that Christopher Nkunku's injury was not too serious. Luckily, he will miss a few weeks, not a few months of action. Gianluigi Buffon is expected to take up a role with the Italian national team as the head of delegation. Arsenal are confident they are capable of signing Brentford's first choice goalkeeper, David Raya. The Spaniard insists on getting sold to the Gunners only. Torino and Besiktas are keeping tabs on Olympique Marseille attacking midfielder Ruslan Malinowski. The French side is set to let him go for 15 million euros. Everton have emerged as new favorites to acquire Manchester United centre-back Harry Maguire. Sevilla have bought Eintracht Frankfurt and Switzerland central midfielder Gibril So for 10 million euros. Juventus central midfielder Denis Zakaria is on the verge of a loan move to AS Monaco. Last season, he represented Chelsea on loan. Feyenoord have secured the Japanese striker Ayase Ueda from Circle Brook for 9 million euros. The contract lasts for five years. Bournemouth have agreed on a transfer of Fiorentina and Italy international Gaetano Castrovilli for 12 million euros. Boca Juniors' first choice central midfielder Alan Valera is moving to Porto for 10.5 million euros plus 1.5 million euros in add-ons. It's currently true that the Premier League and the new market in Saudi Arabia distort the reality of the market, and this makes it difficult for us to manage. Football is evolving as an attractive sector for large investors, and this is proven by the investment in the purchase of clubs by American investment funds, as well as sovereign funds from Middle Eastern countries. The CEO of Atletico Madrid, Miguel Angel Hill, shared. Napoli are closing in on buying Sancho back Nathan from Red Bull Bragantino for 10 million euros. The terms of personal contract have already been agreed with the player. 
Barcelona are considering an option to terminate Serginho Dest's contract if there are no potential buyers for him. Chelsea have agreed on a transfer of 18-year-old Santos forward David Washington, who will join the pensioners for 20 million euros and then be sent to RC Strasbourg on loan. As Abde's future will depend on the situation with Barca Studios. If the club succeeds in reselling part of the asset, then Abde can stay. Xavi would like to keep the Moroccan in the roster. Chelsea and Leicester City are in advanced talks over the loan of talented Italian central midfielder Cesare Casadei. Sassuolo left back Rogerio has reportedly accepted an offer to move to the Bundesliga to join Wolfsburg. Today, he will undergo a medical ahead of penning the contract. All right. We are moving on to the main news of the release. Chelsea have officially confirmed the signing of AS Monaco centre-back Axel de Sassi. The Blues have paid 45 million euros plus add-ons, while the French defender has given his signature to a contract until the summer of 2029. De Sassi is set to replace Wesley Fofana, who tore an interior cruciate ligament in his knee. Chelsea won the race for De Sassi, beating Manchester United. The 25-year-old performer has played for the Monegaskis since the summer of 2020, when he joined the team from Rem. Interestingly enough, he made 130 Liga 1 appearances and did not suffer a single injury up to this point in his career. De Sassi also has four appearances for France, three of which took place at the 2022 World Cup. Barcelona have shown interest in Bayern winger Leroy Sané. He could take Usman Dembele's place in the team. The Bavarians are ready to part ways with the former Manchester City player for 50 million euros, and the Catalans are willing to pay the required amount. However, Sané himself has no intention to quit Bayern yet. He plans to play at the Allianz Arena for at least a year. Sané's deal with the Bundesliga champions expires in the summer of 2025. Bayern are unhappy with his performance last season as well as the scuffle with Sadio Mane. With that in mind, the club is unlikely to extend his contract. Bayern have tabled a new bid over the signing of Harry Kane worth more than 100 million euros with bonuses. This is the final offer from the Munich club. They will not offer more. Tottenham officials have 24 hours to give their response to the offer provided by Dier Ratten. In case of refusal, the club will switch to other strikers from its shortlist. In particular, Munich are considering Dusan Vlahovic and Randall Kalamuani. It must be recalled that Kane himself wants to move to Bayern and has already talked to Thomas Tuchel several times. In case Real Madrid fails to recruit Kylian Mbappe, the club could turn its attention to another striker, Dusan Vlahovic, and pair him with Joselo. The main contenders for the Serbian right now are Chelsea, who could swap him for Romelu Lukaku, though negotiations for this matter have reached a dead end. With Real Madrid still actively monitoring the situation, Vlahovic has been highly valued at Real Madrid ever since his performances for Fiorentina. The club believes that he did not fulfill his potential at Juventus because of the style of Massimiliano Allegri's team. The Merengues think he will be able to show his best qualities in their squad. The situation surrounding Kylian Mbappe has a bad effect on PSG's transfer policy. Due to this uncertainty, the club's potential newcomers are in no hurry to finalize their deals. Earlier on, it became known that Liga 1 champions are one step away from securing the transfers of Osman Dembele and Gonzalo Ramos. Earlier on, Mbappe refused the idea of extending his contract with PSG. He would rather play next season in Paris and then move to Real Madrid as a free agent. The club is not satisfied with the situation, so Kylian has been put up for a transfer list. Kylian Mbappe is now very close to joining Real Madrid. Moreover, the club could sign him in the coming days. Las Blancas are willing to pay 230 million euros, which PSG demand for Mbappe's services. Vinicius Jr., one of the leaders of Real Madrid, especially wants to see a Frenchman in the squad. He is a big fan of Kylian, who had recently turned down the offer from Al Hilal. The Saudi Pro League outfit almost got the deal done with PSG, but the red and blue star wants to play for Real Madrid only. Folks, we highly recommend checking out videos from our other projects. Have a good time watching. Thank you all, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.